Let's meet the fun And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Here with Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, this is Brian Anderson. Joining us from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Well, Anthony Davis grew up in Chicago during the Jordan years, so is that why he wears number 23? He said, quote, I wore number three in grade school. In high school, I asked for that number. Coach said, you'll get whatever I give you out of this bag. He grabbed out a jersey and threw it to me, and it was number 23. Guys, AD said, that'll work. No doubt. Good stuff, Allie. Thanks. And here we are in October. Let's see how things are going out west. Taking a look at the Lakers. In second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. And, of course, the Timberwolves. Half a game behind. When I look at the Lakers, I recall them having a lot of naysayers at the start of the season. But now, they may not have any. This team is ready for a deep playoff run. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Patrick Beverly out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Walker in at the three slot. And for the Timberwolves, Townsend Gobert, the towering big man at the four and the five. In the backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. And it's Prince in at the three spot. And both teams tonight unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think he can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. Davis with a screen on town. Here's James. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. And so he makes both from the line. LeBron James going to the free throw line. Let's just say it's not his most accurate of positions, but hey, even players like him got to have things that need to work. Pass to Russell. Towns on the screen. The shot by Russell, no good. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time at the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. Here's Russell after the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. Just four to shoot. Fires from deep. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Schroeder passes to Davis. The kick out to Walker. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Tough loss coming against San Antonio in their last game. It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Oh, that is well said. They're being handed free points and just couldn't convert. Now here's Edwards. We saw him with 19 his last time out. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Prince with the bucket. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Davis against Gobert. Davis, the pass to James. And now looking at the 2K leaderboard, here's a view of which teams last year got after it with their shot block. In the third spot, Minnesota. Now we all know they didn't allow any easy buckets last season. I mean, their defense was tremendous, and the rim protection was just outstanding. You know, last year was all about forward progress for the Timberwolves. Recording their second winning season since 2005, getting on track for future success. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Anderson's checked in. Now here's Gobert. Really had his troubles in that loss to San Antonio. Just couldn't find his rhythm. Personal foul. First team foul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Beverly against Edwards. Picked by Prince. 
He nails it, and we're tied. So what do you think the keys are that could help Minnesota continue to grow over last year? Well, you know, there's always room for guys to improve their game, but I think it's really the intangibles, building trust amongst players and becoming a more mature team. And the Lakers with possession here after the Timberwolves picking up a basket a moment ago. Here's Anderson coming off a 12-point game. Outside Russell. Fires for three. And another three for Minnesota. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. To the inside. Beverly, left side. And stolen by Edwards. Pass to Anderson. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul of the game. First personal foul. Second team foul. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes played. And down it goes. Two points. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Inside, James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. James has got five now. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You'll gladly take those. Now here's Edwards. Shoots over Beverly. That went off the back iron and out. The Lakers trail. Davis finds Walker. Back to Davis. Lays it up and banks it in. Davis has gotten his second bucket. Yeah, I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm not going to lie. I am happy I never had to guard AD. This guy has it all between the length, the touch, the smarts. He's got everything. Now here's Anderson. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. And the Timberwolves hit again from the... Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. James with the ball. He's got five. And Gobert with a block. And just a top-tier shot blocker in the league. Gobert's massive wingspan is a huge reason why he wipes away all those shots. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Time to get hyped, baby. It's the first Avenue Clippers. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in for Rudy Gobert. McDaniels comes in for Prince. Minnesota's gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Jalen Noel out there with Edwards. And it's Prince in at the three, the small forward. So that's the Timberwolves' five. Beverly against Edwards. Four on the clock. And Davis with the block. Too much this, too much that, too much length from AD. Get that out of here. We got to see that one again. That block was all-out effort. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. James passes to Davis. Outside Walker. Davis misses. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Pass to Gobert. To the wing on the left. Here's Noel. Picked by Gobert. To the paint. No good on the shot. Davis with the defensive effort. Down low. And finished off by Davis. When the brow gets up, you better get out the way. There's not many people with that length and that athleticism. Now here's Edwards. Picked by Prince. Shot is good by Edwards. And the Timberwolves lead by six. Oh, just an easy reverse for him. He has nice feel and touch around the bucket. 
Well, one thing you learn about Anthony Edwards, he does not lack for confidence. He wants to become the best to ever do it, and he believes he can. The officials were right on top of that one. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. And that's good as he hits both shots. And you see the ambition for greatness in Edwards. But, Grant, is he willing to do the work? Well, B.A., think about this. He's a quick study. He listens to his coaches with curiosity. And he's driven to achieve the goals they set for. Yeah, I think he can. Left side shooter. The shot, no good. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Pass to Gobert. Right wing. Outside Edwards. Here's Noel. To the middle. Here's Gobert. And Gobert with the stuff. And with incredible agility and reflexes, Gobert excels above the rim. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Edwards. Here's Prince. Let's the three fly. And another three for Minnesota. We'll give their offense some love. They've been the more efficient team. Yeah, coach has to be thrilled. You can draw up all the X's and O's you want, but guys have to go out there and execute with enthusiasm. Davis, the pass to Walker. Here's Prince. Walker covering. Pass to Noel. It's Edwards on the wing. And Edwards slams it in. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. And here's a look at the top shooters last season. No wasted chances among this group. Rudy Gobert on top. And last year, he led the league in field goal percentage, allowing the game to come naturally and taking whatever opposing teams gave to him. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, guys, the NBA expanding its footprint through video games. Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, there's an opportunity to capture a new kind of fan who isn't currently watching our games but enjoys playing NBA 2K. By learning about the players and the teams, they're more likely to engage in the live product. Brian? Yeah, it goes hand in hand, Allie. Thanks. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Pass to Prince. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Lakers. This game against Minnesota is the first time they've met this year. And they'll meet three times overall. A little bit of a tone setter here tonight. Whoever wins here immediately gets the edge in the season series, so I expect to see both teams with intensity. Back to Prince. Picked by Gobert. Over James. Gobert, no good. The Lakers have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. James passes to Davis. James can't get it to go. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. If you look at the history of the Lakers, they've always had elite big men. That tradition goes all the way back to George Mikan in the 40s. Then they had Will Chamberlain, Kareem, and then obviously we know what Shaq was able to do there. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Some changes for Minnesota. Reed's checked in for Gobert. None against Russell. None the pass to Davis. And the shot goes. Davis has got eight points here in the quarter. Defender plays tough, but Davis is tougher. Plays through the contact look, just with ease, just with authority. And so it's D'Angelo Russell making things happen. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming. And gang, how important is it to be holding that number? Moving on, D'Angelo Russell was tremendous in the first half. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct
ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, D'Angelo Russell has been exceptional here, guys. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And so in the game for Los Angeles. LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Patrick Beverly out there with Dennis Schroeder. And it's Walker in a small forward. Davis can't get it to fall. Six for ten now. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Edwards is doubled. Over to the wing. The baseline J is on the way. That one a little long. That's not how you want to come out of the break. Three straight misses. They need to settle in quick. Out to Schroeder. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Russell finds Edwards. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. And the ball out of play. Lakers will have it the upcoming schedule for the Minnesota Timberwolves. On Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in San Antonio, going up against the Spurs. Then on Tuesday, they'll be playing against Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. And that game against the Rockets is the second game of a back-to-back, -back, so you know there'll be some heavy legs out there. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes its toll on your body. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Beverly, the pass to James. Basket counts. James has got 10 points in the game. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Outstanding dribble drive, and that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Pass to Gobert. Clock at six. Inside, here's Edwards. That shot missing. Good work defensively by James. Bad offense to begin the second half. Four misses right off the bat. In case you haven't been watching his entire career, it is tough to contain Davis when he is on a roll. He's got a physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Noel's checked in. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post-up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. Davis with a screen on town. Outside for Davis. Great D that time from Gobert. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Now Russell, 13 points in the game. Stolen by Davis. Beverly, the pass to Davis. Here's James. Soft touch off the glass. James. James has gotten four this quarter. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Russell to pass to Gobert. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his third assist of the night. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Westbrook, he's checked in for Beverly. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight in the third. And Davis slams it home. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Hey, Richard, how about Westbrook's basketball IQ? By far one of the smartest players in the game. How else would he have broken the triple-double record? He sees everything. His sense of the floor is elite. 
Walker for three. Rebound Minnesota. Gobert's got his eighth rebound here tonight. For Minnesota, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That'll be a second foul of the game. Well, Grant, I know you collect art, so we've been hearing all about these NFTs that teams and players are creating. I'm going to need a little instructional here. What's it all about? <laughs> BA, first of all, memorabilia and collectibles have always been around. But yes, NFTs have taken it to a whole nother level. And yes, I do have an NFT. I don't fully understand it, so I can't explain it to you. But I know it's the next big thing, that's for sure. And in trading for Rudy Gobert, the Timberwolves taking a twin towers approach with two seven-footers in their front court. Of course, the outstanding shooting of Carl Anthony Towns means that spacing shouldn't be much of a concern. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by James. Schroeder with it. Russell covering. That one's good from James on the assist from Schroeder. James has got six points in the quarter. For Minnesota, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Russell to pass to Towns. Here's Prince. The three. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. And man, is he in a zone right now. Seems like he can't miss. Here's Davis. Out to James. Davis, a screen. Three-pointer. Anderson pulls it down. Anderson's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Russell. And here's Anderson. Five on the clock. Now here's Towns. Let's it fly. The shot by Russell, no good. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. And we've heard LeBron James say he's obsessed with win or bust. And this Lakers franchise certainly has that same approach. But aside from their 2020 title, there's been a lot of frustration. Now, can he and the Lakers get back where they expect to be? Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for Prince. And a new group getting ready for the Lakers. Bryant, he's checked in for LeBron. Brown comes in for Walker. Reeves is checked in for Westbrook. And none is subbed in for Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. And again, no good by the Lakers. Minnesota is gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. All right, let's use this time to check out the teams with the most steals last year. In the third spot, Minnesota. And this is a team that takes great pride in being aggressive on the defensive end. They take good risks and know when to go after opportunities for steals. Well, the Timberwolves struck gold by getting the number one pick in the 2015 and 2020 NBA drafts. You are so right, B.A., selecting Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards, respectively. Two important players that have already had a tremendous impact on this team. Noel, no good. The Lakers have gotten 6 of 14 shots to drop in this third quarter. Davis. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Anthony Edwards has checked in for Russell. And the Lakers also making a change. James has checked in. He's up his aggressiveness, wanting to get to the line more in doing just that. And Minnesota calls time here. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. 
He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most Two active minutes, defensively. Two Two minutes. Stolen by Davis. Pass to Brown. On the wing, Davis. Back to none. Launches a three. Doesn't go that time. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center. Oh, yes! Whoa. Throw it down! Oh. Wow! That type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch. That's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. Out to James from the arc. That's in there. LeBron Davis James. with the assist. For three. Davis has got three assists now in this one. 110 left in the third. James against Anderson. McDaniels a screen on James. Anderson passes to McDaniels. Reed for three. The Lakers with a rebound. Outside Davis. Brown finds Davis. Here's Reeves. And another three for the Lakers. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide open man. Pass to Edwards. Reed against Davis. Reed passes to Edwards. LeBron with the rebound. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. D'Angelo Russell, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Beverly, he's checked in for the Lakers. Edwards, a pass to Reed. Edwards against Nunn. Back to Reed. Here's the three. He drops it from range. Reed's got 10 points. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And Davis with the basket. All the assists from Beverly. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. The T-Wolves on top, leading by three. We've got more in store for you right after this. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. The backcourt, it's Russell and Edwards. Towns and Gobert, the towering big men at the four and the five. And it's Prince in at the three. So that's the Timberwolves five. Westbrook against Russell. To the paint. Here's Prince. Boom! He jams it straight down. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. James. And it's James with the jam. Running that inverted pick and roll. Davis in decision maker role. It's interesting stuff. Pass to Towns. Here's Gobert. Outside Russell. Towns with the ball. Checked by James. Five to shoot. Fades. Offensive board. And it's blocked by Davis. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. The shot by James. No good. For Minnesota, they've gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Back to Russell. Here's Towns. That shot's good. Russell making the play. And the Timberwolves lead by five. You have to appreciate guys who can work the mid-range area. It's clearly how you keep defenses honest. And when we talk about the numbers, the analytics for great shooters like him, pretty much any shot is a good shot. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Towns a screen on Beverly. 
Edwards can't hit. Nice work to rise up and secure that miss. Solid rebounding effort from him. Pass to Davis. Outside Walker. Davis down low. He's against Gobert. Westbrook can't hit. The Timberwolves have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Now here's Gobert, pounded by Westbrook. Out to the right wing, puts up a three. The kick out to Edwards. Launches it. Prince with the bucket. Prince has got five points in the quarter. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. The Lakers call timeout. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He is not happy about their perimeter play at either end. They're getting killed with the free ball both ways. He said it's a battle they can't lose if they want to come out of here with the win. All right, appreciate it, Allie. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. And let's be honest, guys. Rebounding is about want. And he is playing with 110% effort. He is so talented. There's very little Russell can't do. It's just about the consistency. But the talent is all there. With the drive. And denied. He sends it right off. the glass. Westbrook with it. Towns covering. Kicks it out to Westbrook. Walker for three. James against Russell. James passes to Davis. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists tonight. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Davis finds James. Over Towns. There's Davis with the three. Rebound Minnesota. Here's Prince. Edwards, the pass to Towns. To the wing, right side. Back to Russell. Let's it go from deep. Pass to Prince from downtown. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. He hit three triples in the first half. Three more since. <laughs> That's nothing to shrug at. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game. It's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. He's been impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him. He's had an answer for just about everyone. Out to James. Outside Walker. Let's go with a three. The offensive rebound. James passes to Davis. Tries again. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Rudy Gobert picks one up. What separates AD from most big men is he's just got every tool at his disposal. And he knows exactly when to use them. Schroeder, he's checked in for Los Angeles. For Minnesota, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Edwards against Beverly. Pass to Towns. Back to Gobert. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. And just so mobile at his size. Once Gobert sets the screen, he rolls hard to the right spot. James outside. Davis with a screen on Gobert. It's James on the wing. And here's Schroeder outside. Prince grabs the miss. 
And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Gobert. Russell with the ball. Takes the three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Good on the second one. And Towns' three-pointer is elite. But some don't think centers should float around beyond the arc. What's the balance there, you think, Grant? Well, I mean, first of all, it just shows how the game has evolved with big guys shooting like him. The bottom line, just play with aggression and don't settle. That triple is a weapon. You also got to use your size and skill inside just as often. Beverly finds Davis. Good work there as it goes. Davis has got eight points here in the quarter. It's the confidence I love when Davis just catches it and shoots it. He doesn't second-guess himself. He just lets it fly. James against Towns. Back to Russell. The shake. He blocks it again. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Beverly. Edwards against James. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. And a big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Russell against Schroeder. And it's powered home by Towns. Woo! The whole arena felt that. Towns could just be merciless on offense. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. Looking to get back on track. And Edwards with the layup. And the Timberwolves lead by 15. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Somebody, somebody help this man. Get this man some help out there. He's doing everything he can to keep his team in the game. Beverly against Edwards. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his fifth foul. We've got a minute 48 left in the game. Right side Edwards. Outside Russell. Just five on the clock. From outside the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Russell's got 19 points. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. To the inside. Here's Davis. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Davis has got 39. And he's coming off a huge performance. And his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Gobert, no good. Well, the Lakers shooting 41% in this game. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Timberwolves. I was really impressed with their attitude today, Graham. Competitive game. They battled through every step of the way. And B.A., can you say big-time effort and energy? <laughs> I mean, just a tremendous performance. They were well-deserving of this win. And they pick up their fourth win of the year. Every victory so sweet in the association. So we see the Timberwolves taking the W here. A competitive... All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson.